Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm not going to do a product well, a um, product or watch review, just a, a how-to video um, on class restoration. Um, basically, if you have a brushed uh, clasp, um, or any clasp, let's face it, they all get marked. Um, we spend a lot of our time like this, and obviously that means the clasp is gonna get damaged, scratched, scuffed, swirls, whatever you wanna call it, they all get um, marked. Um, but if it's brushed, it's actually really easy to restore it. Um, uh, this, I say, it'll be a bit controversial because not everyone likes, yeah, kind of um, touching their watches in this way at all. But basically, I use this stuff. It's um, from M3. Um, I'd use it at work for different types of bits and pieces. Um, but in essence, it's the same as a scouring pad, just finer. And you can get different grades of this. I've got green and a burgundy one. And I find when I want to restore a brushed finish to a clasp bracelet or in some degree as well, um, a case like I'm, I'm I've only got one one of my watches I can use it on for the case and that's my Panerai being titanium if ever there's a mark on it I literally just do pass by a couple of times and it's gone you can buy carbon fiber pens which do the same thing but this cost me nothing you can get it on eBay but they charge a silly amount for such a tiny little bit you're better off going to a hardware store and doing it I'm gonna show before and after um, shots of this. This, by the way, if you're interested, is a strap code to engineer um, bracelet. It's fantastic, one of my favorite bracelets. This is a 22 millimeter version on an original strap code um, clasp. And this is a more recent one. I got a 20 millimeter for a watch I've yet to review. But they're really substantial beasts. They're um, cracking, you yeah, know, really, really good. Um, but anyway, later review of that sometime. So, the clasp has got quite a few marks. I'm gonna put a before and after uh, shot in, just so you know. All I'm gonna do, place the bracelet down like this, and with this pad, the rules you have to know um, before you do this, only go in one direction. If the um, marks are quite, you know, um, they're quite heavy, they're quite, you know, not relatively deep as such, but they're quite hard to budge. You can go back and forth, but always keeping it in, the, in that one direct, you know, in the, in the same direction. Never go across and avoid the edges. If you're paranoid, you can put this on a flat surface. Um, so you can actually put this, you know, a, something flat on the back, a piece of wood, whatever. And all I'm gonna do is go across, like this. Now, I know there's now, there's people absolutely screaming at their TVs, at their computer screen going, oh my God, you're ruining your watch. But honestly, it's so easy. You're not gonna do any harm to your watch. As long as you, I say, as long as you avoid the edges, you don't wanna run over the edges on there. Um, and this, yeah, to be fair, this actually has come up really well. So I'll put before and after shots on there. Um, this as well, this was my first real proper watch back when I was 15 years old, which was a long time ago. So anyway, and I've only just really um, found this watch because it's yeah, hidden away in the bottom of a drawer somewhere. And the class, to be fair, it's heavily marked. It's really, really heavily marked. I'm not gonna be able to get all the marks out of it, but it will definitely look better than what it did before. So I'm having to go back and forth on this one because it is quite heavily marked. I say, I'm not gonna be able to get every single mark out of there, so I'm, I'm not gonna go too far on that. But it's, it's simple to do, it really is. Things like this Christopher Ward, um, it is actually rounded. I will put some close-ups of all these clasps in there. But 
this one's simple to do. I brought this one used, I haven't reviewed it yet, but um, when I first got it, there was quite a few marks on there and I, I did um, do a bit of work. Or, um, but yeah, it is amazing what some people think is mint and then when it turns up, you think, really? Um, to prove a point, the this Rolex here, I know I'm gonna do it on a Rolex, how can I? But the clasp is a brushed finish and the, the bracelet is brushed. And I've never touched um, the um, bracelet on this. In fact, I'll show some pictures. You can see there's actually marks in there. And I'm going to do the bracelet on the clasp. To be fair, it doesn't need much because it is pretty mint, this one. But what I'll do, I'm going to put some pictures in now. Well, over it now. And you tell me if you can see the difference between the clasp and the bracelet. The finish pretty well looks exactly the same. So I know someone's gonna tell me, no it isn't, I can see the difference. Well, I can't, and the type of work I do, I have to be able to see the difference on things like that. Um, slight problem ones are things like, say this, um, this one I'm wearing at the moment, the Rolex GMT, GMT2, Master, uh, GMT Master 2 BLNR, otherwise known as the Batman. Um, this is a bit more of a problem because it has polished center links and that gets awkward. You can do it on this, um, but you have to, first of all, um, mask off the center, sorry, mask off the sides, then polish the center. Now the polishing is, you if you're lucky and you have a big buffing wheel, fantastic. If not, you can use the attachments to the Dremel and a very fine, um, well, it doesn't have to be fine, a polishing compound, and then you can go through the grades with that. You, I always finish off with a Cape Cod, um, and then I'd brush the sides. Um, you can do it on the sides as well, as long as you're careful not to go over the edges. Now, some people say you're gonna lose the edges of the watch. If you're not careful, then yeah, you can. And to be fair, uh, I know this kind of thing, I don't do that often, The clasps, once every six months, I might go over it. You know, it's something like that. It's not the kind of thing you do every day, but I just find every six months, maybe, or something like that. Unless I've really marked one, then I'll do it. But most of the time, I don't bother. But every so often, I, I look in my watch box and I just go through and, you know, do this kind of thing, just make sure it's all clean. And you can do the same with the sides. I've had a Rolex before where I caught it and gave it a nasty ding. Well, not really a ding, but it was a mark. Um, and I had to sand, I used wet and dry, very, very, very fine wet and dry, and brought it all back and repolished it. And I think I traded that watch in for a shop. And I didn't mention it because it was several years later. And they, they said in what great condition the watch was. They checked all the chamfers and were happy. But there again, I deal my normal job is in engineering, so in design, so I'm very, very critical on edges. So I always try and make sure they're all good. But I say it's not rocket science. If you've got, you know, you don't have to be, you know, a, someone of any great, you know, intellect to know how to do this. It is only metal at the end of the day. Um, and getting the finish back on there is incredibly easy, especially on the brushed. If you've got a Rolex especially, it's very easy. You could do one of these if you do have a Rolex because it just takes that mark so easily. I know a lot of people are terrified, even when it comes to blooming, taking out a link of a Rolex. Some people are absolutely terrified and will not do it and you have to go to a, um, a dealer who's gonna charge you 20 pounds, $50, I don't know, to change the link and resize it for you. It is only a screwdriver, you know. Um, it's nothing really to worry about you know, unless you're gonna go in with too big and scratch all the side, but I'm sorry, you're not gonna do that. I wear my watches. I, they're not safe queens, you know, but they don't stay in a safe, only come out once every blue moon for an anniversary or birthday party. I wear them. Um, I've got quite a big collection. I do wear my watches. I wear them in rotation, but I wear them. Um, and so, yeah, they will get marks, but like anything, you try and be careful with them. So that's it. But Honestly, when it comes to restoring clasps, it's so easy. Um, I'll drop some before and afters of the ones I've just done uh, so you get the idea. 
maybe one day I'll show the polishing one. Um, we'll see. Okay, all the best. Hope you enjoyed. And if you like the channel, I suppose subscribe. If not, no worries. Okay, all the best. I'll see you in the next video.